all of you viewing from a distance, your uh, rooms or offices, uh, as we gather, uh, we gather in the spirit that unites us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us turn to the God who is the source of all peace and healing and reconciliation. Lord Jesus, you are the source of true peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us and send us out to forgive one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your desire is the harmony and reconciliation of all peoples, social classes, races, ways of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May God forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We bow our heads in silent prayer. May your spirit fill us with spiritual gifts and give us a mind pleasing to you and conform us to your will. We pray this through Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before him. Paul was aware that some, some were Sadducees and some were Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. On the ground became, and the, ground, and the group became divided. So the Sadducees said that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledged all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul, to be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into, into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood before him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord, you are. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast, my Lord. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exalts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. 
my body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption keep me safe O god you are my hope you will show me the path of life fullness of joy in your presence the delights at your right hand forever keep me safe O god you are my hope hallelujah 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 may they all be one as you father are in me and i in you that the world may believe that you sent me says the lord the Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me. Through their word so that they may all be one as you father are in me and I in you that they may be in us and that the world may believe that you sent me I have given them the glory you gave me so that they may be one as we are one I in them you in me and they may be brought to perfection as one and that the world may know that you sent me that you love them even as you loved me father they are your gift to me I wish that where I am they also may be with me that they may see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the foundation of the world the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These days, it's, you'll read many articles and um, newspapers and magazines and see it online. Uh, the kind of distressing numbers about um, the uh, people who no longer believe in in God or people who no longer believe in going to church uh, who are good people but uh, who describe themselves as non-believers or non-religious or not belonging to any particular church and those numbers are increasing um, the people that describe themselves as no religion and probably if you're like myself you would even have some family members that would be um, among those who describe themselves as no longer believers. And of course, that's a concern and, and a sadness. But today's gospel, I think, is a great, a great comfort to all of us uh, to hear these words of Jesus, because you realize he was speaking to a small group of disciples and they were with him because they believed in him. But he's talking about the ones that aren't there. He's not just saying about to his, the ones that are with him, yes, we are united, I am in you, you are in me. Uh, there's this great, this great uh, connection among us. The ones who are not here, the ones who are not yet here, the ones who are searching, for some answers, for some meaning, for some uh, source of, of joy in their lives. They are mine also. And I want them to be part of this. And um, when we hear and read these words of Jesus, they should be consoling to us because um, his desire is even greater than our desire for those we love. Uh, his desire for those who, who say they don't believe in God or 
those who have no religion uh, or uh, are atheists even, uh, he's saying that he hasn't given up on them. He sees them as part of the flock. You know, this is, this is the man who described himself as a shepherd who, who misses one sheep. If one sheep out of a hundred goes missing, this shepherd is going after him. And so these words should console us that Jesus' desire and love is that all be loved, all. Even those who maybe at the moment uh, don't believe, who ignore God, who describe themselves as non-religious, um, who, but who uh, as human beings are searching for happiness, searching for truth, searching for goodness, without knowing that uh, we're also searching for God. But the consolation is that God is searching for them too. And he's not going to give up. May the Lord give you his peace. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of our nation, our church, our planet. That the world, as it struggles with the virus and other illnesses and poverty, may find ways to overcome disease and poverty and hunger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for believers in all churches and all faiths, that they may find ways to work together to overcome injustice and suffering in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. We pray for all of you here, Walter Reed Bethesda, especially those who are here as patients. May you know God's strength and healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the whole staff here at the hospital in all your various tasks and roles. May you know that you are part of God's healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, especially those who have died recently, and as those who have died of the virus, that they may know God's continuing immortal caring for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sweet sacrament divine, hide in thine earthly home. Low round thy lowly shrine, with so plant hearts we come. Jesus, to thee our voice we raise, in songs of love and heartfelt praise. Sweet sacrament divine, Sweet sacrament divine, sweet sacrament of peace, dear home for every heart, where restless yearnings cease, and so rose all depart. Thine in thine ear all trustfully we tell a tale of misery. Sweet sacrament of peace. Sweet sacrament of peace. My brothers and sisters pray that our gifts of bread and wine and the gift of our lives today may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord. Accept this offering and make us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty God, through Christ. After his resurrection, he appeared to his disciples, but was taken up in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people, rejoices in your praise and together with the angels and saints and all creation we praise you holy 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 lord god, god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are holy indeed lord the font of all holiness make holy these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the cup, the chalice of wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate this memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, and give thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, to serve you and to serve the world in need. We pray that by sharing the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. We pray for our world, for peace and justice. We pray for our church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, Timothy, our bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember our brothers and sisters who died in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that along with Mary and Joseph, Francis and Claire, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may inherit eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And united with Jesus, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with and you, with Father. You share some sign of peace. With those peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the gifts we bring, your word is spoken, make it become for us a healing Lord. Take all our daily toils, plant in our hearts poor soil, take all we start and spoil. Each hopeful dream, the chances we have missed, the graces we resist, Lord, in this Eucharist, take and redeem. Lord, in this Eucharist, take and redeem. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received enlighten us and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And thank you for being with us and praying with us this day. Amen. May God keep you safe and healthy. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, and throne above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven on earth resound the hymn, salve. Salve, salve.